Hello and welcome to the Door to Door YouTube channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about my five favorite luxury doors. Now in the past I have done my five favorite garage doors, I've done my five favorite budget friendly doors, and I believe I also did my five favorite carriage house doors. Um, so this one will be my favorite luxury doors. Now these are the doors if you want something a little bit uh, a little bit different, a little bit more unique, a little, something that really going to stand out and uh, you know really add a lot of curb appeal to your home, especially if uh, you have a garage that faces the road. Um, these are the doors that uh, yeah not everyone's going to have. These are the doors that if you want something like I said really special, these are the ones you want to start looking at. So getting right into it, my number five. Um, for my top luxury doors is gonna be just your uh, aluminum full view door, which is the aluminum frame with the glass panels, uh, very popular uh, modern look. Uh, these can kind of range the gambit because they come in all different configurations as far as the frame um, and the windows go. You can go just regular hollow aluminum frame, which is a standard glass, or you can go to um, a insulated frame with different custom glass options, different insulated options. Um, different really interesting like mirrored looks, colored glass, really really anything you can think of uh, as far as a glass option, you know, we can usually work out. Typically with these doors, we either go with uh, the Amar Vista, which is uh, you know, a great option um, for the full view door, or also Armorlite. They're a, um, a New Jersey based company that makes a, um, a really unique, really high quality uh, full view door. Um, probably going to be a little bit more expensive than uh, a Vista or um, similar Clopay model. But um, if you're really looking for that really high end, high quality, uh, full view aluminum door, um, I can't say enough good things about Armalite. We, um, we put in a few of their doors and they uh, a really, uh, really well made uh, full view uh, door. Like I said, uh, very modern look, tons of different glass and frame options. That would be my number five when you're looking into the uh, what I would consider a more luxury door. Number four, I'm going to go with the CHI Sterling. So the CHI Sterling is a flush door, um, but what's unique about it is it has frameless uh, glass sections. So if you're looking to get um, a flush door where the glass is actually flush mounted as well, um, and with the panels for a really clean, uh, kind of unique look, uh, this would be the door. Plus it's a nice smooth finish on the outside, um, so you don't get the, uh, the little bends and textures of the wood grain texture that you see in most steel, steel doors. It's going to be smooth and then like I said if you get glass in the panels it's a um, you know it's a nice smooth transition to the glass. You don't see any uh, any window frames or anything. It's just a nice clean sheet of uh, glass so it's a, it's a really cool option. Um, like I said definitely more of a modern option but very unique um, and very luxury. Um, my, Number three I'm going to put on this list is uh, the Clopay Canyon Ridge. Now, this has been on a few of my lists just because uh, really it is a um, you know, very unique and a very popular door. This is, uh, again, if you haven't seen my other videos talking about the Clopay Canyon Ridge, it is a overlay door that has um, uses Clopay's patented composite uh, vinyl materials to uh, look a, just like a real wood door. But um, again, with these composite materials, um, a lot less maintenance. If you wanted to keep it looking as good as it did the day it was installed, then uh, there's gonna be maintenance throughout the years to uh, keep it that quality finish and uh, showing where the Clopay Canyon Ridge needs, um, you know, maybe a little clear coat if it's in a high sun area, but for the most part, um, it's gonna be very low maintenance compared to an actual real wood door. But as far as the look goes, they are, um, you know, they're very stunning, gorgeous looking doors, especially when you get the five layer. It's got the two layers of uh, the uh, faux overlay wood design versus the four layer, which is going to have a steel base and then the overlay on top for the uh, design. But both are great looking doors. Obviously, the four layer is a little bit more affordable. Um, but again, this being the luxury list, uh, I'd say you want the five layer and they do um, a few different options now, some modern options uh, with vertical planks. You can even get some custom wood. Um, custom metal inlays in the design in some of them and they even uh, came out with a chevron pattern which uh, people are starting to talk about and uh, you know ordering it's getting pretty popular so the Clopay Canyon Ridge um, just for the sheer fact you're getting 
you know, you're like 90% of the way there on a wood door, don't have the maintenance, um, don't have all the, uh, you know, the kind of things that come with a custom wood door, won't be nearly as heavy as, uh, you know, a full wood door of a similar, uh, similar make. So that's why that's a great option for a great look uh, that won't be as maintenance intensive as the full wood door. That being said, my number two is the custom wood door. Now this, um, with custom wood doors, I mean, sky's the limit. You can have them make just about anything, different wood grains, different colors, you know, staining, obviously. Um, you know, you dream it, they'll make it in custom wood. Again, like I said though, compared to the Canyon Ridge, you will have maintenance involved, whether you paint the door and, you know, need to keep up with the painting or planning on staining the door, in which case the door will need to be stripped and stained every, I mean, if you really want it looking great, every three to five years, I would recommend uh, having the door refinished if you want with a custom wood door. But again, the sky's the limit, size, style, option. They'll make just about anything you can come up with. You can draw a picture, they'll make it for you. Um, and then again, as far as luxury goes, I mean, something custom just the way you want to fit your house, you know, perfectly. That's what you're going to get with a custom wood door. And they really are showstoppers when they're all done, fresh uh, stain and clear coat and everything. You know, they look gorgeous. They're really a piece of furniture, uh, you know, on the outside of your home. And then my number one for the luxury, or what I consider a luxury door, is new from uh, Amar. They partnered up with this company there. They're called the, uh, the Axolotl. Um, it's actually an Australian based company that they uh, patented a different way of uh, adhering materials to uh, you know, other substrates. So they've come up with a way to adhere materials like terracotta, um, concrete. Um, I believe they have some different copper type finishes, some really unique designs and finishes that they adhere to um, basically a full view frame. So similar to your glass door is the construction of the frame, but then they adhere the substrate with these uh, you know, very different materials, very unique materials, designs, really, really unique, really special looking things um, that you know, most people have never even seen on a garage door before. Now, uh, and now is available through this uh, really cool and really unique line. That being said, there's a reason it's number one on my luxury list. Um, it's new technology. It's a whole different way of doing things. They're custom and very specially made um, for the application. So they end up being a little bit pricey. You're definitely looking in the, you know, 10,000 10, plus range per door for a single door. But, uh, you know, no one, no one has anything like it. Like I said, they came out a few months ago. Um, from the samples that I've seen, they're really cool, really unique. And if you're looking for a luxury door that your neighbor's not going to have, this is the one to go with. So that'd be my number one, the Axolotl from, uh, from Amar or purchased through Amar. It's a, uh, like I said, a really unique design, really unique uh, looks. And like I said, there's nothing like it. So those, uh, oh yeah, those are my top five for luxury garage doors. Again, just to recap, we had number five, the full view glass door. Number four, I went with the CHI Sterling with the uh, frameless window options. Number three, your Clopay Canyon Ridge. Again, this is gonna be your faux wood door that's gonna look up very similar to a, a real wood door, again, with, uh, without a lot of the maintenance, but you know, really, really some standout looking doors. Um, number two, your custom wood door, so if uh, you, know, you don't see what you like with the Canyon Ridge, you want something very specific, very unique, you know, certain type of wood, certain stain color, certain anything. I mean, custom wood doors, they'll make, you know, again, the sky's the limit, they'll make whatever you want. And uh, you know, we can figure out how to make a really custom, a very luxury, unique door for you with those uh, in the custom wood line. And then finally, the Axolotl from Amar, or through Amar. When it comes to luxury, there's nothing like these. They are, just really unique, again, show-stopping doors that, you know, if you're looking for your neighbors to, uh, neighbors to talk, ooh, he's got a nice garage door. These are the ones you wanna uh, maybe start looking at. But again, these are all gonna be our luxury lines, so you know, definitely not gonna be your inexpensive doors. Like I said, I have my other videos with my top five budget doors, or just some garage doors in general that, you know, might be a little bit more affordable if this list is uh, not, uh, not what you're looking for. 
Uh, again, thanks for watching. This is Alan with Door to Door Garage Doors. Um, for anything garage door related in Northern New Jersey, we're here to help anytime. So uh, give us a call and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.